This is your weather extreme video for Sunday, January the 17th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Our surface map this morning features a low pressure area over north uh, Florida with a cold front stretching down through uh, central Florida into southwest Florida. Unfortunately, overnight, that system brought some severe weather to the state of Florida uh, in the vicinity of Bradenton and Sarasota in Manatee and Sarasota counties. We had at least two tornadoes that have produced two fatalities and four injuries, and the damage is uh, just now becoming visible as the daylight occurs, but it certainly looks like the tornadoes were fairly powerful. The upper air pattern uh, is as we have been talking about over the last several days. We're seeing a trough move by, and that establishes more or less a long wave trough over the eastern half of the country that will make us pretty cold for the next several days. On our uh, temperature map for the whole U.S., you can see that the air is very, very cold. Uh, readings up there in parts of the Dakotas and Wisconsin, basically in the minus 20 range. Of course, uh, with a, you add wind chill, and that makes it even colder. Values are not that cold down here, but you can see we've gone to a nice northerly flow, and temperatures have dipped into the 30s across north and central Alabama, still in the 40s across the south part of the state. With sunshine today, we should see temperatures warm up at least into the mid-40s. Radar showing that uh, the bulk of the rain has moved out of the state of Alabama. We still have a few echoes, but uh, it, hardly any if if any at all, of that is reaching the ground. Watch warning map shows uh, the uh, light blues that you see in the Great Lakes area and back into the Dakotas. That is wind chill advisories and wind chill warnings. We uh, have a good deal of wind um, warnings and advisories along the Gulf Coast and up the Atlantic seaboard. QPF, uh, we're not going to see any rain here in central Alabama until the middle of the week but it looks like we could see a fairly uh, healthy system with uh, rainfall across parts of north and central Alabama on the order of two inches possible. Storm Prediction Center uh, has outlooked only for our day one, a slight risk of storms over the extreme southern Florida peninsula. For days two and three, there were no uh, slight risk areas. And just to keep you updated on uh, Victor, uh, Victor is, of course, in the South Pacific, and uh, those islands you see to the left center of the picture are Pago Pago, and the uh, storm is going to be staying away from those. All right, let's get to the 06E GFS model run this morning, and there goes our trough. It's scooting along very quickly, uh, leaving behind, of course, the long wave trough position over the eastern half of the country and ushering in some cold air. On the surface map, we see the uh, surface low, uh, 993 surface low too, so um, kind of uh, a, a well, well developed uh, uh, low pressure system. And uh, if you follow the the isobars back from central Alabama, you go all the way back into central Canada, so a good northerly flow setting up. The trough is in place on Monday, so we're going to continue to be cold. Monday, I doubt that we see readings get out of the upper 30s. Tuesday, we begin to see a little bit of a change as the trough moves off, but with the high pressure settling over us, calm wind, good radiational cooling, I expect Tuesday morning to be our coldest morning as readings for morning lows settle down into the teens. It could be as low as uh, 14 to 17 in the colder rural areas. Birmingham forecasting a low of 19. For Wednesday, uh, the uh, ridge moves by and another quick short wave comes by. That short wave probably will only see some clouds as we begin to see moisture returning as a result of the uh, high pressure settling in to our east and southeast, and that is returning a good southerly flow out of the Gulf of Mexico. Questionable as to whether we'll see rain Wednesday afternoon and evening or not, be, uh, but with that little short wave moving by, it's quite possible. Now, the bigger short wave and close low affects us beginning on Thursday. Uh, this moves in from uh, the Four Corners area and moves into the Arklatex area on Thursday, and that will uh, help to generate a strong surface low over Arkansas with a cold front stretching down into the northwestern Gulf of Mexico. Storm Prediction Center on their day five is not saying anything specific. Uh, the potential is too low to forecast at the moment. However, this certainly has the look of a potential severe weather uh, uh, problem, and so we'll have to keep our eyes on this as uh, future model runs come in. 
That closed low and upper trough moved by, so that brings an end to the rain on Friday. The uh, GFS is suggesting that there could be a good deal of wraparound moisture, and as a result, possibility, we might see some snow flurries. Uh, even the European suggests the same thing, the possibility of a few snow flurries. Nothing that measurable to speak of, as you can see uh, on the uh, GFS snowfall map for 18Z on Friday. They're suggesting less than an inch across parts of Kentucky, Tennessee, and north and central Alabama. Uh, the main threat for the snow event on this is going to be on the eastern side of the Appalachians, uh, as that low moves out and grabs Atlantic moisture and pushes it ashore uh, against the eastern slope of the Appalachians. But indeed, uh, we could see a little bit of everything uh, during the next week or so. That closed low and the trough move uh, up the east coast of the United States on Saturday, and of course that puts us back into northerly flow. But notice the northerly flow not quite as far north as it is for this current weather system and indeed the high pressure uh, system is located a little closer to us so the bulk of the cold weather is uh, cold air is pushed off uh, to the east of us by sunday a week from today uh, we've come back under a bit of a ridge so we're beginning to transition out of the cold air and uh, by the surface pattern shows the high moving off to our east, and once again, the southerly flow beginning to return. So Sunday could be a cool morning with a little bit milder afternoon. Looking out into voodoo country, we have another potential uh, weather maker in the form of a shortwave trough coming across Arkansas and the middle Mississippi River Valley on the 26th. The big system, though, uh, comes at us around the 30th. So the end of January could be an interesting time for us. What's interesting about this is that the trough position and the closed low over Kansas puts us really into uh, a good subtropical uh, flow pattern with moisture and warmth coming out of the South Pacific. And we see that the GFS says by February the 1st, we'll still be under that pattern uh, as the ridge holds very strong, uh, allowing the closed low to kind of ride over the top of it. So it looks like we could be headed for a period of warmth. Then again, you know how voodoo country is. It might change tomorrow. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. James Spann will be back with the uh, ne next edition of the Weather Extreme video first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, enjoy your Sunday, and by all means, stay warm. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Godspeed.